Hello, Malale, Bula, and welcome to Season 5, Episode 61 of Breakfast Bites by TableForSports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People's Sports News on a bright and sunny Saturday morning, 3 June 2023. Coming to you with tons of Hanisi from the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. In rugby, so far so good for the Fijian draw with wins last night for the Blues over the Highlanders and the Brumbies against the Rebels. The destiny of the Fijian draw is in their hands this afternoon when they take on the Reds at 4.35 p.m. in Suva, Fiji. In Rugby League, when the New South Wales Blues lost last year's Origin 1, Brad Fittler was quick to respond with mass changes. Matt Burton, Angus Crichton, Clint Gutherson, Jordan McLean, Victor Radley, Siosipa Talakai, and Jake Trobovich were all brought in uh, into the squad for Game 2, with the uh, changes achieving the desired effect of the Blues romping to a 44-12 win to level the series. Meanwhile, Queensland Rugby League has been fined 30,000 Australian dollars for breach of NRL rules after having 14 players on the field in a bizarre moment of confusion during Wednesday's Origin 1, where the Maroons trainers botched an injury change with Tom Gilbert. The NRL, or the QRL rather, has five business days to respond. In sports biz, this is what winning the NBA championship for the first time ever could mean for the Denver Nuggets. After the NFL's Los Angeles Rams won Super Bowl LV1 early last year, 56, I think that is, their value rose from US $4.8 billion to US $6.2 billion, third best in the NFL. Similarly, the NHL's Colorado Avalanche grew in value from US $630 million in 2021 to US $860 million after their 2022 Stanley Cup championship. In football, Inter Miami has de declined to comment on speculation over a bid for Lionel Messi as they unveiled their new Argentine interim coach, Javier Morales, yesterday. Miami sacked the English coach, former Man U United uh, player Phil Neville, on Thursday after Miami's fourth straight loss left them stranded at the bottom of the Eastern Conference and ranked 27th of 29 teams in MLS, with fans having turned against him. The David Beckham co-owned club has long been linked with a bid for Messi, who is expected to leave Paris Saint-Germain uh, when his contract runs out at the end of this season. And in 47 years in the NBA, the Denver Nuggets have won only two postseason series, but never made an NBA Finals until this year, where they had an estimated franchise value of US $1.9 million, 22nd in the NBA. With the arrival of star center Nikola Jokic and their rise to unprecedented heights, things are changing in Denver. They have sold out full season tickets for next season, and the Denver Chamber of Commerce projects a US $22 million infusion in the city's downtown business due to the Nuggets' finals appearance. In boxing, U.S. boxing superstar Javonta Davis was jailed yesterday for moving into the Four Seasons Hotel in Baltimore and then a luxury condo he recently purchased in Baltimore to serve a sentence of 90 days home detention. Plus the rest, three years probation and 200 hours of community service causing a hit-and-run accident in November 2020 in Baltimore, his hometown. A Baltimore Circuit judge ordered Davis to spend the 90 days at the one-bedroom home of his longtime trainer and father figure, Calvin Ford. Unfortunately, Davis's attorney didn't request permission for a change of location. You've got to hand it to Davis for trying. 90 days in a four-season hotel beats 90 days in a one-bedroom house with your coach, any day. For TableVoSports.com with the uh, gruff voice this morning, I'm Carlton Kamir.
please hit the like and subscribe buttons below if you want to receive more Pacific sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. Mahalo, bina'a, and thank you all to us for all your love and support.